Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. Got another package in today, and uh, this one is a little bigger, as you can see here. And this is by a company that I have uh, done a review for before. Uh, I've gotten some of their other stuff, and this is by Bazilli, and uh, I hope I'm saying that right. But as you can see, it does come in this simple box here. Let's go ahead and open it up, and we'll show you what's inside. All right, everybody, so here we go. We've got uh, the few things that are in there. As you can see, this is the main unit here, and this is another grow light. Uh, now, obviously, if you guys have seen anything before that I've done, I am uh, working on doing some hydroponics. But, uh, anyhow, here's another grow light that will expand upon what I'm able to do. Uh, as you can see right here, we do have the user manual, which does label off the different pieces. Obviously, there is the cord. Uh, you then have the cable hookups with a simple uh, link here. Uh, sort of a carabiner type of link and uh, it does have some basic instructions on how to hang it and everything as well it does have instructions on the back end of uh, you know what you do to kind of control this now uh, the other thing we've got here is they did send a little card here and it's this happy not happy kind of card and uh, obviously you know let them know if you don't have uh, if you have any issues with anything uh, if you don't have any issues and you do enjoy it, go ahead and leave them like a thumbs up or a positive review, however that works. Now uh, on the back here you can see it does have a few different things. Uh, here it just tells you the basic thing, LED grow light. It is, uh, let's see, uh, it, it says 100 to 240 volts at uh, 50 to 60 hertz. So obviously you can uh, run this in different areas uh, for the different voltages. Uh, you have an on-off power switch right there that is right next to your cable connection. You can see right there you do have a couple of fans to help keep it cool. And then you also have two adjustment knobs. This one says veg, this one says bloom, and you can increase and decrease the intensity of the colors of lights. It does also have this connector on the back, and as you can see, it's very odd looking for anybody maybe that's in the US. Um, the reason being because this is a multi-connector. This multi-connector makes it so that not only can you put in, say, a two or three prong plug into it just like that, and daisy chain these together so that you can have multiples of these in a in an area but you can also use um, things like the European style plugs the uh, the British style plugs things like that going to here we do have a nice little array right here and this is 20 basically little cups um, that each have multiple LEDs in them. Uh, some of these LEDs are going to be red, some of them are going to be blue, some of them may even be uh, things like infrared uh, or, uh, or ultraviolet type of LEDs. And uh, each of those is going to propagate different things within uh, plant growth. Uh, on the back here, it does have the specifications. Uh, again, it does say about the input voltage, the uh, frequency, all that kind of thing. It does come with a two-year warranty. Now there is this section in here, it says using suggestions, and uh, the usage is for, let's see, four stages of plant growth, germination, young vegetative, vegetative, and flowering. And uh, they go from germination, 31 to 35 inches, and then they go clear down to, while it's flowering, uh, you want it at uh, between 17 and 21 inches. Uh, now, those also vary in terms of the length of time you want to have on them. Uh, anywhere from 10 hours to 18 hours. And then it also does give you the example of how bright these should be. Uh, now, this does say that it is not waterproof, so this is not meant to go into um, one of those systems that is uh, a humidity spraying base where everything gets sprayed. You do need to keep 
the fluids down on the plants and not up on the light. The fans will automatically turn on whenever the temperature gets high enough. Light includes infrared and UV LEDs, as I said in here. All right, so I've got it plugged in. I'm going to adjust it to what the low state for germination is, which is 40% for the vegetative. And let's see, that is right about there. And then it says 15 for the bloom. So we'll go to... Oh, right about there. And let's go ahead and see roughly how bright this is. Ooh, and it is still pretty bright. Obviously, you guys are going to uh, see how the lights dim on the camera. And I'll kind of shine it out towards you. You can see that. Uh, I, everything, this is, this is very bright, even at that low power state. Well, let's go ahead. We'll flip it back off. And uh, let the camera, there we go. We're back in the picture. Now this is going to be interesting. We're going to go ahead and crank it all the way up for the uh, for the vegetation um, for full vegetable uh, light. So we've got a hundred percent on both. That I can only imagine what that's going to look like. So one, two, three. Oh my. Um, yeah, this is this is super super bright. And uh, I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera, but uh, this this light here is lighting up the entire room so bright. This is just really, really bright. Um, closer, it is definitely a much whiter kind of light. As you get a little further away, it has more of a um, uh, kind of a, a violet purple kind of coloring to it. Uh, but uh, definitely, definitely very, very bright. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and turn the bloom off. And as you can see, it goes into more of a reddish, orangish, yellowish kind of color there. And uh, that, I'm sure, is going to be more of the infrared. That is the, what the color for the veg looks like. And then if we go ahead and turn the veg off and turn the bloom up, then we've got the blue light. So we're going to have kind of the UV coloring here. Obviously, you can adjust this for the types of plants that you're growing. Um, this is, of course, uh, telling you just kind of a reference for overall plant growth. But uh, there we go. So uh, pretty powerful and pretty strong. Now, something else real quick, just so I mention, uh, with these little hooks, you do have these little uh, standoffs on the back right here, and that's where you're going to hook those in for the cabling that's going to then suspend this. And... Uh, Something I think is a good idea is if you can set up a cabling system, kind of like a winch, where you can kind of crank it up or lower it back down. Or if you even want to do something special like an Arduino or something like that, where you can just hit a button, it'll automatically raise or lower it with like a little motor or something. But uh, yeah, so that way you get it suspended where you need to. It basically self-levels because all four corners are going to be suspended from one single point in the middle, and all four of them are going to be equidistant. So uh, then you just have a simple cord connected on the back, suspend that, you raise that cord up and down, and it then raises this up and down. Uh, I will mention this isn't the lightest in the world. Um, this is a few pounds, probably around five pounds, give or take. So take that in consideration when you're kind of trying to do mounting or set up mounting before you hang this. Uh, you do want it to be strong enough to hold this up but it looks like it's going to be a very nice system especially with that extra control um, it would be nice if it had a little timer on it uh, that would be great but that is of course added and of course it's going to increase the cost as well as uh, increase the weight and everything too so um, you got to kind of pick and choose your battles there i guess a little bit all right everybody well if you want to check this out you can go down there in the description below i will have a link to this on the amazon site and uh, also, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the social media links that are down there. And the PayPal link that is down there is for Patreon or in place of. And uh, that's so if you'd like to, you can help out the channel. Also, when you're on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, as well as ring that little bell. So you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me.
All right, everybody. Well, my name's Cougar. This is The World of Me, another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.